One of the things that uh, will also be available as a result of this legislation is uh, the availability of medical providers. You touched on this and, and hit it hard, and we need to emphasize it once again. I know there's a lot of discussion. There's, the bill has too many pages. Well, many of those pages specifically deal with making sure that the medical providers are there, extending the availability of loans and programs for primary care doctors, for nurses, for nurse practitioners. And, and I recall years ago, you carried the nurse practitioner I, I legislation did, exactly. in California. You know, uh, one of the misstatements that I hear over and over again is that government who doesn't do anything right will be running this system. That is a misconcept, and I want everyone to hear me, because we do cover the conversation between the patient and the doctor to determine end-of-life care. It will be covered for the first time. They called it death panels. It's just the opposite. You know, you ought to have a right to discuss with your practitioner, with your doctor, how you want to, what your quality of life should be. Well, how to deal with the with what will inevitably be the final days for all of us. Yes. And we want to make that, we, we would want that to be in the interest of the individual and the individual's family. But right now, many doctors, are, are, they, they cannot do that. Now, uh, we allow you to tell your doctor, and it will be covered, who has a durable power of attorney, uh, well, where your will is, do you want to be resuscitated, do you want to have these kinds of treatments or not, this is a discussion that will be covered. Government does not have this discussion. The patient and the doctor will have that discussion. Well, that's the way it should be, but the way it often is, yes. it's the insurance company that makes the decision. I cannot begin to count the number of times when I was insurance commissioner that complaints would be brought to me that the insurance company decided that this young girl was going to die because she was not going to get treatment for her leukemia. This is not unusual. In California last year, the statistics collected by the uh, Department of Managed Health Care showed that the five largest five large insurance companies that cover most everybody in California, the denial of claims and the denial of services ranged from 25 to 40 percent. So it's the insurance company, not the doctor, not the patients that are making the decision. It is the insurance company. Now, on the other side of it, in Medicare and Medicaid, Medi-Cal, you do not see those kinds of denials. There is denials for things that are inappropriate. So we know that in the reforms that are coming before us, we open the door for the patient and the medical practitioner, the doctor, the nurse, to have that relationship to make the decision on what is the appropriate care. That is not the case today. It is the insurance company, all too often, that's making the judgment upon whether a treatment will be available.